announcement time. As I said at the beginning, it was really good to gather together in person last week outdoors, and we will be doing that again. Um, we're not at a point where we're going to do that every week right now. We're still kind of figuring things out, and um, it was really fun. It was also lots of work <laughs> to pull all of that together, and if you were there, you saw that we had glitches in the process and in figuring it out, which is pretty normal when we're getting into something like this. So, And we're looking into how we can improve it and all of these kinds of things. So we will keep you updated. Um, right now we plan to do an outdoor service again uh, at the latest on April 25th. Um, and as I say, we'll keep you updated. Best way to know what's going on is to get the email blast, sign up for it on our website or with Kathleen in the office. Uh, other announcements, Thursdays at Timbers is going to be restarting on uh, the 22nd. So not this coming Thursday, but the one after that. Um, the 22nd of April, we're going to start Thursdays at Timbers, and we're going to begin a series on identity in Christ. Now, for some of us, this is a topic we've, we've heard about and talked about before, but it never ceases to be important. Um, who we understand ourselves to be and who we understand God to be are incredibly important questions to answer well. There are many ways of answering them poorly. If I believe my value is found in my success, then my whole life will be a never-ending treadmill of pursuing the next achievement. If I believe that God is waiting for me to mess up so that he can judge me and look down on me with disappointment, then I'm going to be living into some kind of perfectionism or fear. But if I understand that I am a beloved child of my Father in heaven, who loves me more than I can imagine, who longs more than anything else to bless me, well, that changes everything. And so our Thursdays at Timbers for a, few, for a little while, starting on the 22nd, are going to be times to look at those truths that set us free in terms of who we are and who God is. Those are at 6.30 still on Zoom for the for the time being. We'll see when we can change that and uh, would love to have you come out and join us for those. Each Sunday, as a final announcement, I take a time of offering. Giving is largely online right now. E-transfer is in on our website, though you can come by the office if you need to give in another way. And every time I do this, I, I take a moment to say something about giving. Um, sometimes it's the really obvious, like we run on your generosity. We can be a church and do the things that we do, like parking lot services and Thursdays at Timbers and various other things, less right now, but more when there's not COVID, because you give. Um, and so we depend upon that. Alongside of that, though, I always want to say thank you. Thank you for your giving. Thank you for your generosity. Thank you for the ways that you support Timbers. Make this your church. Now let's pray together. Father God, thank you for today. Thank you for your goodness and grace. Thank you for the opportunity we have to worship you. God, as we continue through these mixed up, quickly changing, messy times around COVID and restrictions and the frustrations that go with that, we ask for an abundance of your grace, Lord God. We need it so much. I don't know how each of us are doing, but I have felt more frustrated lately, and so I ask for your peace, and I ask that for each of us who are wrestling in the midst of what's going on, because it's hard, and it's not all good. We know that. Certainly, COVID is not good. So I want to pray for anyone who's ill and just ask for your hand to be upon them, bringing them into health. For anyone who is suffering in another way as a result of this, we ask your grace and provision and relief for them, Lord God. I lift up timbers to you. Lead us in being and becoming the church that you have made and called us to be. We pray these things in the name of Jesus. We say, come Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's continue in worship together.